Yeah, 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 yo, what's up gangsters, okay? Today's video is gonna be a little bit different. I, I wanna start this new thing where I just show off random animals and we see what the hell that turns into, okay? And today, I got a Jerusalem cricket. Or, they're also known as potato bugs. Some word in Spanish that I don't even know how to say. And yeah, it's in here. Let me get it out for y'all and show you what we got in store. Yeah. These dogs don't shut up, I'll shoot them. Jesus Christ. Warning! Warning! You're about to see me rage. <laughs> I'm pissed off, okay? I have to do school and all this stuff, bruh. It's annoying the hell out of me. So, yeah, let's make a YouTube video while I'm still mad. This should be a good idea, right? Okay, why can't... Why do people... You're not even... Where did they get the idea that this is from Jerusalem? Where the hell even is Jerusalem? Jerusalem is a city in the Middle East. On a plateau in the Judean mountains between the Mediterranean and the Dead Sea. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Mission accomplished. I have found the Jerusalem cricket. Okay, it is walking around. As y'all can see, it is a baby. But there's beautiful zebra patterning all throughout. It disappeared. I forgot the flash. I am so mad, bro. Okay, who can... <laughs> Boy! Like... We don't make those type of mistakes anymore. We make bigger mistakes. Not really. Just like this video. This whole video was a mistake. I'm sorry, guys. This thing isn't even eating, okay? I thought it was going to start eating stuff, but... Literally nothing's happened. It's showing off its digging abilities, at least, but that's pretty much it. I want to cry. Nice. Oh, so now you don't want to get off me. Before... I can't even record, bro. Oh my gosh. I'm actually raging at this point. You stupid Apple Watch. I'll... I'll... Mm, mm. Lol, you're mad. Okay. So finally calm down. You know what I mean? Had to move to the floor. You know what I'm saying? Floor vibes. And... Stop it. Get some help. So, uh, yeah, guys. Shave my freaking head. Congratulations. You played yourself. Boy! That was kind of one of the reasons why I was really stressed out in the video that y'all just seen. I, I cut out so much stuff, bro. I was raging, I. Right? Yeah, we're back in business. We're gonna film this goddamn video. We're gonna get it. You know what I'm saying? Gotta hit the monster. Oh my gosh, bro. But yeah, guys, okay? Jerusalem Cricket. Let me tell y'all what I needed to tell you or what that I was trying to tell you in the clips before, but I was just too dumb to actually tell y'all. Huh? So first things first, Jerusalem Crickets, they're gonna get pretty big, bro, okay? Oh, yeah. It's gonna get about the size of my thumb. I, I ain't got that big of a thumb, but yeah, this is a pretty... Pretty small, bro, bro. Yeah. All right, it's gonna get pretty big, all right, for a bug, for a goddamn cricket, of all things, okay? It is wild caught. I sourced it from the wild, you know what I mean? And if you guys wanna see me capture more of those things from the wild and show you guys how to actually capture them, comment down below because it's the season for them, okay? They start to come out during the rainy seasons, you know what I'm saying, more winter, spring. I think they mate during springtime. So yeah, they're gonna be growing right now and then Soon to be getting the nasty, you know what I'm saying. Something about the girl that just makes my head wanna twirl. Jesus, can I even show this? So real quick, the diet that I be feeding my Jerusalem cricket is some romaine lettuce. I have pupas that are going to be turning into moths pretty soon. I don't know if y'all are able to see that, but yeah, if y'all can. They're pretty much just waxworm pupa, so yeah. In the wild, you are going to be finding them under rocks and stuff like that. So there's a lot of pupas that are also under rocks. So this is something that they will be eating in the wild. So yeah, they are omnivorous, so they can eat both plant and meat diet. There's very little information about Jerusalem crickets. 
Okay, Bugs in Cyberspace. Shout out to Bugs in Cyberspace. I love that goddamn YouTube channel. But yeah, Bugs in Cyberspace. He has a few videos on Jerusalem Cricket, but not really about their care, their diet, anything like that. He just, you know, shows like a two minute long video showing off Jerusalem Cricket. You can pre-kill their food, you know what I'm saying? Put it in there so that they could scavenge on it later. But this pupa method is actually much better because the animal is still alive in here, but it's not mobile. You know what I'm saying? So it can't like run away, fight back, or get lost in its enclosure and then harm it if the Jerusalem cricket ends up molting or something like that. So yeah, that's why I use the pupa. Um, you could also give it dog food. Only dry dog food. And I keep it in this small little container just so I can make sure I know where it is at all times. Where the hell is this thing, bro? What? Um, hello, dude? Like, <coughs> where are you? Dude, that monster got me freaking burping, bro. What? <coughs> oh, my boy. Wow. Hey, bro. Where my Jerusalem cricket at, though? Oh, hell no. Like, I used to keep a bunch of these back in the day, but if I'm being honest, they escaped. And you guys are probably like, bro, what, what are you talking about they escaped? These guys' bite is seriously something else, okay? When I used to keep these as a pet, I had them in Dollar Tree containers, you know what I'm saying? Been using that method for a fat minute. But I do not recommend keeping these guys in Dollar Tree containers because the plastic is not the strongest, let me just say that. The mandibles, on the other hand, for these guys, is indeed the strongest. So... What happens when something strong meets something weak? The strong thing literally bites it in half. And that's what happened. It bit a hole so big that my full thumb could fit through it. And it just escaped. I finally realized it escaped. And I was freaking the hell out. But I was like, you know what? It probably won't survive in my room. About two weeks later, I see the deceased Jerusalem cricket just chilling on the floor. And my grandma yelling at me, Chris, what the hell is this thing on the floor? You know what I told her? Find out on the next episode of Boy, You Stupid As Hell. Hell no, I was gonna say I keep it in this small container so I always know where it's at because it's usually formed at like one of the three corners, one of the four corners, or like on the side, it would just be all the way at the bottom because they love to burrow. If you're gonna be keeping these, I suggest having them in substrate that's pretty thick. That's pretty thick. Not thick, but deep. Oh my god! You know what I mean? So yeah, enough with that. I y'all pretty much got the gist of the Jerusalem cricket. I'm gonna be putting clips of me filming the goddamn Jerusalem Cricket in this part where I'm talking about its care, you know, just basic care and all that stuff. And yeah. Is this a going with the flow? What is this, bro? It's something. Okay, guys, I just got finished editing the video that y'all are watching right now. And I've come to the conclusion, I should not post this goddamn video. What the hell was that? Seriously, what did you guys just watch? What have I created? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. That video was a product of my insanity. That's all I gotta say about that, okay? Let's not dive any deeper into what this video was. Holy. <laughs> Little heads up, the rest of this video is just gonna be announcements for my channel. You know what I'm saying? So if you don't really care about that, y'all could just skip, click off, you know what I'm saying? Or if y'all are trying to like blow my channel up, you know, if you're a true gangster, just stick through my boring words and Give me that watch time, you know what I'm saying? I just realized how YouTube works. It's all about watch time, bro. So yeah, thanks guys. Um, The other Chris will be talking now. So we hit 3,000 freaking followers, bro. I mean, subscribers, bro. 3,000, 3, bro. Holy, holy moly. Thank you guys so freaking much. You know how much euphoria that just gave me? So what else did y'all do? Half a million on TikTok? Oh, hell, oh, oh, oh my, oh, oh my God. Oh, hell my God. Oh, hell my God. I'm not religious. But yeah, thank you guys so freaking much. I was actually thinking of doing milestones, you know what I'm saying? Because I've been like just breaking milestones and I didn't really think I was gonna get this far. But yeah, y'all are just crushing it lately. Y'all just been just blowing my channel up. So did some thinking. Y'all know I'm afraid of centipedes. If you don't, I'm terrified of them. I have a giant pet centipede, Vietnamese giant pet centipede. And I'll be willing to hold it Okay, I'll be willing to hold it if y'all could get me to 50,000 subscribers, which sounds like a lot. Trust me, it is. Holy cow. But if you shoot for the stars, you might hit like the moon, you know what I'm saying? So, 
Yeah, that's my thinking at least. Let's just end this goddamn video. I'll see you on the next one. Late. Comment pineapple if you stay to the end. Yeah, I'm gonna be one of those. Yeah. Pew. Goodbye, guys. Late, guys. Sayonara. Peace out, homies. Goodbye, gangsters. I'll see you next time. Y'all like cream cheese? Huh? Seriously, bye guys, lates. What the hell was that? <laughs>